Hi, my name is Tazer and in this video I'm going to take a writing topic from the CBSE syllabus which is writing a letter to an editor of a newspaper or a magazine. So let's start the video. Let us look at the content of today's video. First of all, we're going to look at what is a letter to the editor, then we'll find out the subject matter of these letters. We'll also see the purposes of writing them. We'll finally get to the content of the letter. We'll brainstorm some ideas to fill in the content. So let us look at this question. What is a letter to an editor? As concerned readers and citizens, we often feel strongly about various issues like political, economic, social, environmental, etc. At times, we want others to know what we feel about these issues, believing that our opinions and ideas can influence a wide group of people outside our family and immediate relatives. This is when a letter to an editor becomes an important medium to generate a discussion, place an opinion or express a perspective. So where are they published? Usually they're published in the editorial page of newspaper, magazines, etc. So what are the subjects of these letters? Generally, their subjects contain a wide variety of topics from the local, regional, national and international. In fact, the subject of the letter varies from garbage disposal issue at one's doorstep to the validity of spending money on space exploration. So what purpose do these letters serve? Well, they serve multiple purposes, like voicing your concern or opinion regarding a welfare issue, educating public about an issue and forming public opinion, inform elected representatives about a problem so that they take action on it, suggest or seek suggestions on a matter from others. This is a general idea about the letter to an editor. Now, if you were attempting a CBSC and CERT question in your exam, you need to stick to a specific format. I'll be discussing the format now. So, here is a template of the letter to the editor. For convenience, I have divided the contents of the letter into eight different sections. So, first of all, there is the sender's address, then we have the date, we have the address of the receiver, which is the editor in this case, the subject, we have the salutation, we have three body paragraphs, then we have complimentary closing, and then the name of the sender. So first of all, let's have a look at a sample question from CBSC NCERT, then we'll try to fill the template. So here is the question. You are Summer Somia, living at B36 Kavinagar, Ghaziabad. Your roads experience waterlogging during monsoon season. The people in your area find it difficult to lead a normal life and this adds to their problem. Write a letter to the editor, the Hindu, New Delhi, highlighting the problem and suggesting measures to control the problem. Now, the first thing we need to fill out is a center address. Here, the center address is B36 Kavyanagar, Ghaziabad. So let's fill this out. Now we will put a date in the letter. We will use this format. Remember to use the name of the month in full. Since letter to the editor use formal language, therefore we do not use abbreviations like Jan, Fab, etc. Now we need to go back to the question and find the address of the editor. Here in this question, the address is the editor, the Hindu, New Delhi. Therefore, we will use this address in the template. Now we are going to write the subject of the letter. Let us go back to the question and scan the subject. Here it says, roads experience waterlogging. Obviously, they are talking about the roads in Kavinagar. Therefore, we can simplify the subject as waterlogging in Kavinagar roads. Next is salutation. Here you can write sir or ma'am. 
or you may write both with a forward slash in between in case you are not sure about the gender of the editor. Now the body paragraph. Like I said before, there will be three paragraphs here. In paragraph one, you must get to the purpose of the letter. Don't make the reader look for clues. Tell them your key point at the beginning. So what is the purpose of writing the letter? Problems of waterlogging in Kavyanagar roads in monsoon season, right? So there is an easy way to start the sentence. Let's look at these three choices. Through the columns of your esteemed newspaper, I wish to draw the attention of the concerned authority. Through the columns of your reputed magazine, I wish to express my views on. Through this letter of mine, I wish to express my concern over. Since waterlogging is a matter that concerns the municipality, so let us select the first option. So we will write, through the columns of your esteemed newspaper, I wish to draw the attention of the concerned authority of the problems of waterlogging in Kavyanagar Road during monsoon season. I'm going to discuss second and third paragraph together. So in the second paragraph, we're going to talk about the details of the issue. And in the third paragraph, we're going to close the letter by offering some practical solutions. Here, remember, it is always a better idea to divide the paragraph into cause, problems and solutions. So let's brainstorm some ideas about causes, problems and solutions here. Remember, the causes and problems are going to go to the second paragraph, while the solutions will go to the third paragraph. Let us look at some of the causes of waterlogging. Unclosed manholes, poor drainage system, low maintenance of existing drain pipes. Now let us look at some of the problems. Students, commuters and office goers are forced to stay at home. There is sewage overflow. Let us also look at some of the solutions that we can offer to the concerned authority through the letter to the editor. So they can improve the drainage system. They can maintain the existing drain pipes regularly by cleaning them and cover the unclosed manholes. So let's get to writing paragraph two. Let's frame the sentences. We can begin by saying every year during monsoon, Kavyanagar Road suffers serious waterlogging, since this sentence can summarize what we are going to write in the paragraph. Next, let's list the reasons. The main reasons are poor drainage system and low maintenance of the existing drains in the locality by the municipality. We'll talk about the problems occurring because of these causes. Now, let's use some ordering adverbs like first of all, secondly, finally, etc. So we can write, this has led to multiple problems. First of all, students, commuters and office goers are stranded or are forced to stay at home. Secondly, waterlogging is accompanied by sewage overflow in different places, which forces the water inside residences. Finally, the unclosed manholes push the excess water upward, creating a flood-like situation in the area. We're now moving on to writing paragraph three. Here, we will request the editor to publish this letter and offer some practical suggestions for the municipality. One way to begin this paragraph is, I request you to publish this letter in your esteemed newspaper so that the concerned authorities take necessary steps. And then we offer the suggestions by improving the drainage system, cleaning them up regularly, and covering the unclosed manholes immediately. Finally, we we'll write a complimentary closing, which can be yours truly, followed by the name of the sender. So we selected Sobia, hence we write Sobia. Before I end this video, please remember two important points regarding writing a letter to the editor. One, everything you write in the letter goes to the left of the page. Secondly, maintain a gap of one line between the points, such as between the sender's address and the date, or between the date and the address of the editor, and so on carefully, as shown here. Alright people, thank you so much for watching this video. If you have liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos. If you wish to share the video with someone you know, your friends or classmate, who you think would benefit from this video, please do so. If you also have some suggestions as to what I should be picking up for my next video, please put them in the comment box. Thank you again, stay safe, bye-bye.